Al-Batn, the stomach. That's another key. The more we eat, the more we indulge in food and drink, and in types of foods, and in excessive eating, and again, excessive may become relative. The more that shall affect the state of our qalb, and it shall weaken us, and remember what we established yesterday, when we give the nafs what it wants, it's a downhill road, and therefore it's loss of spiritual potential energy. And if you give the button what it wants, it will want more, and more, and more, and more. The more we give the button, the more the button wants, and the less the qalb gets. And that's why Rasulullah is related authentically to have said, Sharru wi'a. That is, the worst of vessels to be filled, said he وسلم, is a stomach. And therefore, the etiquettes of a seeker of Allah, جل, of a mu'min on the path of ubudiyah, is to try to achieve what Rasulullah instructed. That, that beautiful khuluq of eating. How did he eat? What did he instruct us? If we can reach that level, that's our aspiration of every mu'min. One third of solid food, one third of liquids, halal liquids, and halal solids. <laughs> and the rest empty. Many of us, we eat until we cannot eat anymore. True or false? <laughs> we eat until we cannot eat anymore. One day, one early sage, one early alim, rahimahullah, min al amilin, he was told a person eats once every day. He told him, that's the habit of the Siddiqun. That's the habit of those who are very, very close to Allah Azza wa Jalla. And then he said, one who eats twice a day. He says, that's the habit of the Mu'minun. And then he told him, someone eats three times a day. He says, اجعلوا له علف. He says, well then, just buy for him a feed. You know, what is, the, that, that, uh, the, the, what is it, the, the basket, the feeder, and, and, and hang it on his neck, and that's it. <laughs> so for him, rahimahullah, we who eat three times a day, and, and of course the secular psychologists will tell you, you eat this and you eat that, and three meals a day, in the morning meals, and kada, and goodbye, Islamic psychology. Subhanallah. That's why when your child of seven years of age is fasting, they tell them, that's child abuse. Isn't it true? But you know better. A speculative semi-science called psychology has been chosen to replace the words of these most eloquent, most intelligent, and with beautiful polished hearts of our ulama, rahimahumullah, we replaced that. We replaced Al Ghazali's words and Ibn Al Qayyim's words and Omar's words and Ali's words and, and Rasulullah sallallahu psychology of eating. And we say, Bandura said, Freud said, Wahalumma Jarra. And Freud has been proven dead wrong by his own peers of modern psychologists nowadays if you read the articles. I knew that before. <laughs> Subhanallah. Beware. This deen is about balance. And each person at certain level of his exaltation or her exaltation of the malaiki nafs 
has certain needs. And the more that is cultivated, the sa'ada of the person is no more in eating three times a day. The strength of the person is no more dependent on eating three times a day, but on some other food. And with minimum solid or physical food, if you will. That is when we remain always at the level, forgive me, forgive me. In our psychology, when we remain at the level of the bahima nafs, or the sabu'i nafs, of course, that becomes most important, and we shall continue there. Al-Batn, and then quickly, 